So, uh, yeah. Too bad for him. Let's see. Um, okay, so we actually need to do... We need to pre-drop a lot of healing, just like before. Okay. And, uh, yeah. Let's, let's get out of here. Don't worry about me. Don't worry about me. Anyway. Back to trespassing. I've been waylaid by enemies and must defend them. Alright, alright. Alright. Peas, peas. Ooh, spell. Yes. <laughs> Anyhow, we were going here. And then there was some more exploration to do. Never did go through the middle part of this one. Let's quick save. That uh, travel actually went remarkably well. What is this? There's another... What? what? There's... Oh... It's a caravan that has been... Okay. Please, I beg of you to go no further. Raj is there, strewn about with the carnage that he has wrought. I've tried to reason with him, but it is as, as if he is possessed by another soul. It was all I could do to flee the swing of his tremendous blade. Please, unless you wish to witness madness in a once good man, leave him be and pray the spirit leaves him in good time. Hmm. Who is this Brage you speak of? Before this curse befell him, he was the captain of the guard in Neshkel. I am his cousin, for Larissa. For all the bonds of love and blood, save him from his present agony if there be a way to do so. Hmm. Uh, I mean, we might be able to come back. With, like, uh, Dispel Magic or something. I anticipate, or Remove Curse, I don't know. There's There could be some options here. Try to fix what's going on with him. So maybe we avoid that area. Let's, uh, let's avoid that and maybe come back. We know where he is. And we'll see if we can get our hands on, like, a Dispel Magic or something that might be able to help him. Oh, what have we got here? More Tesloys. Okay, yep. Just, uh, get rid of them. Check these again, just make sure that we do not miss any spell scrolls. Lots of gems. A little bit of gold here and there, not so bad. No spell scrolls, well that's alright. Just want to double check, don't want to miss any. It would be such a shame if we were to miss a fireball scroll or something. through the map a bit here, clear things out so we can see what's where. In case we need to move around. Oh, right. I don't want to go there because I don't want to have to kill that guy. I feel like there's probably a way to avoid killing him. What's going on over here? You need some 
something, stranger. Uh, okay. There, there. I would be leaving as soon as he can, mate. Bossman there is nice and all, but he have no real idea what be going on. I tell you, there is some bad magic in the air. Interesting. Oh, okay, so these are the diggers. This must be the boss. Put your backs to those shovels, men. If she's not out tonight, we'll lose her to the bandito scum. You there, state your business, but don't move from where you stand. I don't want to have to sick the boys on you. You look to be nothing more than rabble tomb robbers. I think you had best put your weapons down. Big words, but I don't think you have the muscle to back them up. We've many a strong back here, and I think we know how to take uh, enough to take the care of the likes of you. Let's see. Whoa there, I didn't want to cause any trouble. Let's all put our weapons down and talk about this. Perhaps I can help with your problem. Our trouble is no concern of yours, though if you must know, hmm, would you perhaps be mercenaries? If you wish to earn an honest coin, mayhaps you would help guard our placement. We need only keep it secure a while longer as we near the goal of our search. Uh, let's see. What is the object of your search? Can there be anything of value in such a decrepit ruin? Seems little more than an abandoned tomb. <clears throat> you are partially right, though it is not a tomb, but an ancient settlement. It is also all that remains of a primitive race, long since extinct, and we know little about their culture, save that they seem to have destroyed themselves in war. Perhaps today we will learn something more. We are just about to break through into an inner chamber, perhaps the dwelling of the village shaman himself. Mayhaps you could be of assistance to us. We need but keep the camp secure a short while longer. Your very presence would probably dissuade anyone from attacking us, though I do not know the force behind our misfortune. They seem to take great pleasure in minor sabotage and kidnapping, though some of the missing men may have just run off from fear. Nothing is ever stolen, which is odd for bandits, but they still must be the cause. Will you help us? Uh, sure. It would be an honor to help you learned people in your quest for knowledge. Gracious we are. Now, we stand a chance of completing the most exciting day of our dig. We're going to try for an entire new room today, possibly the shaman or chieftain quarters. We could find any number of relics within. Move amongst the men as you will, as your pro presence will no doubt reassure them. Okay, so I'm, I'm guarding them. Golly. Why, hello there. Could we just step aside a moment and have a little chat away from prying ears? First, my name is Galler. Second, we never had this conversation. I'm the quote-unquote partner of that old Mr. Charleston you met there. Except I'm none too thrilled about the non-profit aspects of the whole thing. The old man themes, seems to think we should donate all our findings to some museum, whereas I am ever so much more practical. I think certain people would pay dearly for the magical treasure we are about to unearth. And if they would be so eager, who are we to stand in their way? I would like you to steal the item and remove Mr. Nib from my little equation. You up to the task? I would have to kill many of the working men if I attacked Charleston. It would be veritable slaughter, and I want no part of it. Blast you. You are playing just as safe as the old man. So be it. I will find other means to acquire a fair measure of profit from this fiasco. Best you continue on whatever errand you be on. Well, okay. I assume that we will get attacked. At some point, though I don't know when. Let's just have Jeff stand over here. Don't worry about me. Hmm. Don't see anyone to talk to. Guess maybe we talk to them again. Stranger. Hmm. They say the same thing. Let's try talking to him again. Ah, he says success. We are about to enter the last remaining room. 
It's sure to be the shaman's abode. Now we'll get some real information about what these people were truly like. Um, hey boss man, I don't feel so good. How old is the air in this place? A good question, young man. I would guess that we are the first people to walk in this room in nearly 5,000 years. The very gods of Netherill would have been young at that time. It's so, so cold in here. I feel strange. I hear, I hear a voice in my head. I hear the hollow voice, but it is a mumble. Speak up. Speak up and guide mine hands. Okay, well. Uh, you, I see what you are. There is power to be had from your death. Your blood will quiet the voice. Wonderful quiet. Koza aplet darkas tagla koza. Okay, well. So this digger guy goes crazy, I guess. Did the others go crazy? Oh, they all do. Oh, man. Well, all right then. Something bad happened. Um. I was hoping to avoid having to kill them. But I guess that's not happening. Okay. There we go. Don't worry about the diggers. Okay, Charleston. I... I think I can explain the madness that overcame my men. They seem to scream in some ancient tongues, but I recognize the word Koza. It is the name of an ancient power, the name of a god of pandemonium. The tribe that lived here must have worshipped Koza, and the description and the destruction he brought. The artifact that lies within this stone sarcophagus must be what has caused all of this bloodshed. Surely that artifact is cursed with beyond belief. Please make sure it is within its proper place and we will seal the entrance. It's best that it never sees the light of day. Um, it's sad, really. I sought to bring a little life back to a long extinct people. And look what I wrought. Certainly some things are better off remaining dead. Here is your pay for the time you have spent here. Your services are no longer required. Everyone pack up. We're leaving this accursed place. Yes, we should leave. You should watch out for your partner, Galor. He wanted me to kill you, so he could profit from your find. Tread carefully. Well, alright then. What's this? Interesting, so there's an idol to Koza. I guess I definitely don't want to take that, is what it seems. Want it? You've got it. But that is the only thing in here, huh? Okay, well, off we go. Oh, my reputation went up. That's nice. Don't worry about me. I did a good deed. What's the reputation? Twelve. All right, we got pretty good reputation for this stage of the game, actually. I have done a lot of quests already. We should be getting some store discounts before too long. That'll be very helpful. Now, I did um, use SAS to make reputation harder to get. But that is why it isn't even higher than it already is. Because reputation was maybe a little too easy to get when you're doing all of the quests. Might as well make it a little harder. I mean, you can just buy it, after all. Okay, 
we got? Uh, Red Wolf. Alright, that's not too intimidating. Okay, that's one down. Let's get the other one. These give the same XP as those bears, so they're pretty good. Definitely worth worth killing. Don't worry about me. Yep, that was um that gave us more experience than that quest just did. Just those two monsters. Very nice. Ghoul, okay. Multiple ghouls. Several ghouls. We should be able to beat them down pretty easily with our armor class. Unless they're critting, I don't think they're hitting. Lind. Your life ends here. These don't have special names. No chieftain, though, is a noteworthy name. Okay, wow. That's kind of a lot. Oh, we do have sleep. Let's sleep here. We'll sleep that fight. actually bad. We have uh we have lost aggro control here. Let's uh let's sing. We'll send melee in here. Okay. Definitely don't want you on stabs a lot. We're gonna send God's plan here to body block. There we go. Base is just singing away. Okay, um... Hmm... This is not great. I wanted that sleep to do a bit more. Divine Favor here, too. Just to make sure this goes down. No, no. Um, a little bit of damage there. Strongicus really struggling to take out anything for some reason. Um, and Bigly is getting absolutely freaking murked, so we need to move Bigly around here. And pray that God's plan does not get hit as we drop a heal on Bigly. Because for some reason, Trunkus can't hit anything. And let's try, there we go, okay. Maybe the ad, maybe, maybe our, uh... Normal dudes can manage to hit this null for like two damage that we need to do. Okay, finally. For several rounds. <laughs> Shrugkus just did nothing. And Shrugkus is now doing things, which is good. Okay, okay. I think this is managed. It's a really good thing we cast sleep. This fight would definitely have gone badly if we did not cast sleep at the beginning. Okay. Uh, 
yeah. So that actually went great. I was harder than I expected it to be. That's, ooh, an acid arrow scroll. That's very cool. Let me zoom in real quick so we can see these uh, bags a bit easier. There we go. That's one. Okay. I think that's got all of it. Pretty sure. All right, we leveled up again. I've got this. Amazing. Almost all of this is done. Just a little bit more of this map then. We'll be totally done here. The, our uh, mage is finally level 4. Such a big deal. Uh, we get those level 3 spells. And then, uh, wait. No, I think we just get another level 2 spell. Still. Um, we get a second cast of sleep. Very big deal, and a lot more hit points. Uh, our mage here gets all sorts of buffs to saving throws, Thaco reduce, backstab multiplier up, and we can finally get maximum find traps. Very good. And then our scald here. This is a bard. Um, we're going to get another level 1 spell, reduced Thaco hit points and a bunch of lore. That lore will help us um, identify things. So for example, those arrows, this scroll perhaps. I don't know what that scroll is still, but we were able to identify the oops. arrow of fire at least. Okay. I've got this. Greetings, playthings. Oh, crap. Thou hast found me when I alone could not. Hmm. I pray you left a trail of crumbs to lead us all back again. The others did not, so they have decided to stay. Shall we try to find the way home together? I pose to you a riddle, the answer to which I once knew, but now cannot perceive. Remind me, and we shall return. Uh, we shall all return unto the day. Fail, and stay with me in the dark, forgetting whence we came. It has neither mouth nor teeth, yet eats its food steadily. It has neither village nor home, Neither hands nor feet, yet it wanders everywhere. Is it fire? Okay. Um, it has neither country nor means, nor office nor pen, yet it is ready to. F yet it is ready for fight, always. By day and by night, it, there it there is wailing about it. It has no breath, yet to all it appears. Hmm. Uh, or I think it's war. Ah, uh, thine eyes are as blind as mine. 
If thou art in the darkness with me, then we are of the same cloth. I'll not allow another to do as I have. Die, monsters, die! Well, I guess he's hostile now. I didn't mean to make him hostile. Oh, wow, stone giant strength is a lot of strength. Okay, um, but we might be alright. Yeah, he's running. Um, which is good because, uh, okay, we need to run. He can one-shot a lot of my characters with that level of strength. Why is he chasing her so relentlessly? Literally just chasing one character. Oh, there we go. Okay. Unfortunately, we had to kill him. Didn't want to, but I guessed wrong on the riddle. Maybe it was wind. I guess it was wind. Don't worry about me. Hmm, I guess, um, probably want to try the west exit and the north exit both. So here is the west map exit. Ooh, wow. Yeah, we got two locations there. Sea Watcher and that. Okay, so the lighthouse. I think I remembered there being something interesting at the lighthouse. I don't recall what. Also need to drop some healing. It might be a good idea. Just try to rest out here. Since we're all at pretty good health. I'm gonna do... I'm gonna cast armor. On him. There we go. Okay, so now if we get attacked, he won't insta die. That's the main reason I have that. It's to cast it at the end of the adventuring day to keep him alive if we struggle to rest. Um, and at this point, yeah, we're pretty set. So, um, yeah, let's head up to Sea Watcher. Let's check out Sea Watcher. You want it? You've got it. Very nice. This is going very smoothly. I guess these are only Tesloys, so they're not very threatening. Get over here. I've got this. Sorted. Let's see what's up with this lighthouse. I know why you're here. It's the same reason everyone co else comes to see me, and you shall get the same answer. I do not know when the iron shortage will let up. I have no clue as to who controls the bandits in the area, and I have no interest in accompanying you to the gambling tables in Baldur's Gate.
Uh, p pardon me, but if you do not trouble yourself with the events of the day, what purpose do your stargazing serve? What purpose? The Sword Coast is by no means the center of the universe. Lives and dramas are lived out across the realms. There are lands closer than you would think that neither know nor care about our little problems. Um, and what of these lands? What intrigues lay beyond our borders? Well, just across the southern mountains, there are troubles brewing in great awe that will make our current concerns seem small by comparison. To the far north, there is a city where winter never rears its ugly head. A city that has not been seen nor heard from for many a year but will soon welcome the return of a multitude of citizens. Both of these events will unfold regardless of our current troubles. Great may be our concerns, but much more there is on the horizon. Leave me be. I have much to think upon. I've got this. Okay, so we're on the Sword Coast. There is a hobgoblin. There are lots of hobgoblins. To what the heck? Serene. Oh, that, I, I, uh, pretty sure they're kind of scary, aren't they? Like, isn't that like a siren? Can't they charm me? Like, would I be freaking out right now? Say what they cast. Dire Charm. Oh my gosh. I don't have anything to deal with that Dire Charm. Yeah, we're, we gotta, we gotta run away from them. Um, so let's go over here to where they can't attack us. Um, they're really, they're just trying to dire charm me a lot. I really hope it doesn't work. Oh, man. That invisibility is, like, a lot. Oh my gosh. Okay, we, yeah, this, that's, that's, that's really bad. Okay, um, holy crap. Really? There's two dire charms landing back to back. I have no way to stop this. So this is this is really bad. I anticipate we're gonna run headlong into another encounter and just die before the charms wear off. I don't know. I don't actually know how long it takes. Um, also, I mean, our characters can like one shot us. So if uh, if they actually manage to catch Madam Stabslot here, for example, or or Jeff, uh, we're just gonna die. still casting more charms like okay oh, okay it wore off it wore off maybe we can actually kill something please can we oh my gosh there's jeff why is jeff oh he's poisoned oh my gosh i wasn't paying attention and he took a ton of poison damage i thought he was taking other damage i completely misplayed this we, well maybe we can salvage it maybe this is salvageable I am not sure. These these sirens really just completely messed up my plan here. You want it? You've got it. Okay. Um Oh, no, 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 no. Jeff, does, Jeff cannot be taking damage. But. Okay, they may be out of charms. Like, I think that might be the might be what's happening right now, is that they're out of charms. Who is Safana? I wish she would help. Let's kill that hot goblin. Okay, that's good. Wow. 
Uh, that really did not go according to plan. Multiple encounters all wrapped up into one. Very spooky. Got Dire Charmed twice. Also spooky. But we did manage to kill them all. Okay. Um. <laughs> yeah. Lots of heals needed. Hmm. Well, I don't have. I just need to drop a few light heals. Then try to rest again, I think. We can try to rest after that. I mean, yeah, sure, ask away. Mm. Ah, yes, so that is because um, it is not guaranteed to learn the scroll, and a lot of these scrolls are going to be hard to get again at this stage of the game. So I am saving them for a trip up to the Friendly Arm um, to grab a Potion of Genius. That's the plan, is, is I'll grab a Potion of Genius and that'll make it so that I, all of them are guaranteed, uh, and then none of the scrolls will be wasted. But, um... Those are pretty hard to come across, it turns out. I've been looking for strong men like yourself. Mm, let's see. Maybe if you told us your name and your problem, you could we could help you. Well, good sirs, you may call me Safana. You'll have to excuse me if I sound startled. But in the south of here, where I come from, they don't grow their men as big as any of you. Anyhow, if you want, I have a way to make you all fabulously wealthy. In my possession, I have a map that gives the location of an old pirate treasure trove. According to the writings on the map, it's where the legendary Black Alaric dumped his treasure before being captured by the Omnian fleets. You interested in learning more? We're, all we're always interested in hearing about money. Um, the reason I need so many heroic men is that the caverns where I wish to go are guarded by some sort of creature. Which kind, I couldn't tell you. If you help me, I'll let you share in the treasure. I may be grateful in other ways as well. You agree. Oh, thank you. You won't regret your decision. I know that powerful heroes like you will easily shove through any obstacles in our path. Well, we should be off then. From what my map showed, the Pirate Cove is located somewhere along the coast, just south of Candlekeep. And then I'm just going to kick her out. Cool. And so now we can just go do that quest. Can I not stay with you even a little longer? Our time together has been quite enjoyable. Ah, uh, well, perhaps we will meet again. I've got this. 24 and... Uh, no, my match is 18, but I think the uh, Potion of Genius gives plus 4. Unless I'm mistaken. So that would give me 22. Which is still not guaranteeing it. So that would be lame. Well, perhaps we need two potions of genius, but regardless, they sell them there. They sell them there. Aryan crawlers. Those are kind of scary. I think I should be able to handle this. Let's save just in case. Aryan crawlers are spooky, but not that spooky. As long as I kite it out fairly effectively, I think I should be fine. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. These are these are very easy to smack. Yeah, 
Yeah, the uh, the hold is really the thing that is scary about them. But Don't worry about yep, me. easy peasy. Nice amount of XP there too. Ninety-eight percent at twenty-two. Okay. Don't worry about good to know. Me. Good to know. Thanks for the uh. The... Oh no 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 no. Man, <laughs> this is not your place. This is the home of Sills tribe. Dirty land folk, you shall suffer for your trespass. But we run away. We run away. So maybe they won't maybe they won't try to kill me until till after Strongacus has become unfrozen. Interesting. So this is I guess going up that way is dangerous. Um, Okay, there we go. Don't worry about me. Let's see. Okay, let's just let's try to dogpile on her. Okay, there we go. Yeah, these uh these are not not nice creatures for reference. Sirenes uh they are typically quite evil. They like to uh lure people to their death and whatnot. Um Yeah, I don't, I don't really feel too bad about this. Oh crap. Though we did get charmed. Which is oh, Jeff is so dead. He's so freaking toast. No shot. Wow, he actually walked away. But our archer is the one who is uh, charmed right now, so I don't really see how Jeff makes it out of this. Yep. Okay, well, yeah, maybe we don't take that until we've got some kind of charm resistance or any way to remove magical effects. Because that charm is a lot. Charm is a lot to deal with. I swear it hits multiple targets every time it hits anybody. Like... Yeah, I just I we could we could roll the dice a few more times on that, but I don't I don't really like to do the luck based strategies. I'd rather like come in with a plan and execute it and I mean at that point it's just not getting charmed. Like that's not a very good plan. Dang, this map is confusing. The random NPC. There's so many NPCs in this map. Hey, friend. Mm -hmm. Uh, please help me. I don't know where else to turn. My little boy was playing in that abandoned lighthouse to the northwest when a pack of wargs surrounded it. Please just turn them back and I can coax him down. There's not much time. Okay, to the west. So I'm going here. Ah, yes, there we go. Don't worry about me. Alright. 
Here we go. I guess that's the works. Well, let's go talk to that kid's mom again. Thank you so much. You've probably scared him as much as the wargs. I'll coax him down once you've left. Here, this money is all my husband brought back from the market this past week. But take it. My son's life is worth this and so much more. You want it? Right. A tiny amount of gold. Well, I thought we might be able to go into the lighthouse, but it seems that the lighthouse is just abandoned. Okay. All right. Uh, okay, well, let's, I guess there's this bottom right area and the top right area. I don't really know about going into the top left. That seems like a no-go zone. Until I have some way to tank up um, charm spells or undo them. Like a dispel magic or that kind of thing. But I haven't seen any dispel magic scrolls. I don't have the cleric level to do dispel magic yet. So don't worry we are not dealing with charms yet. Did I need... Do more for you. Dirty talk. Pleasure to meet you. Uh, who might you be then? Ah, great adventurers, no doubt. I could tell by your hands. Stained with magic and the effort of hefting a weapon. Such markings may be invisible to the average eye, but I can see them plain as day. I can see a lot plain as day. Care for our consultation? Perhaps a little old-fashioned palm reading? A little gypsy magic to steer your course straight and true. I see no harm in a little divination on your part. Here's my palm. What does it tell you? Let's have a look now. Interesting. Though you live life and th though you live the hard life now, your hand tells of a softer existence not long ago. I assume that you have just recently taken to the road. That is true. Yes. Go, do go on. I thought as much. Let's have a little closer look now. Back down your lifeline. I see a scholarly influence, and you are well educated. You had a mentor who was a great sage, perhaps of considerable power as well. Mmm, this is starting to get a little sus. I think she's going to try to kill me. My foster father, Gorion, was a sage, and a bit of a mage as well. Go on. Uh, you had a reasonably happy childhood with him. Aside from being a little difficult, my, my, but you were quite the hell, the little hellion. Wonder where that comes from. Let's see where, what we can't learn about you back before this, Gorion. For the back, I see, I see, merciful gods. I see a long and happy life for you and yours. Ten gold, please, and I'll be on my way. Uh, what, what is it that you saw? I saw nothing. You will live long and enjoy life, and I will be going now. Back from me. Um. You must tell me. Please, dear lady. I have told all I am going to. Stay back from me. Your life is none of my affair. As you would have it, here's the gold you asked for. I changed my mind. I shan't touch it. I shall. I take nothing from you. Leave me. Well, at least she didn't try to kill me feeling she was going to, so that's, I guess, fine. Um. You want it? You've got it. I thought that I had already talked to her. I guess it was a different person. So many NPCs on this map. Oh, Red Wolf. XP! Alright, alright! Let's go! Nice
Okay. Right, so that pretty much just leaves this top right area that is reasonably safe to explore. We'll come back once we've got Dispel Magic or something. I think uh, for now we're going to have to leave. There will probably be some quest or another that sends us here. Okay, wait, wait. No, no, Death. That's not what you want to do. Everybody else doing great, though. That's a lot of hobgoblins, but I don't see any elites. Oh, wait, nope. Nope, we got some elites. The elites need to go because they shoot poison arrows. Um, so they, they just have to not stay anymore. Okay, there we go. One down. No poison's gone down. Alright. I think we're good from here be able to just bard song. So many hobgoblin elites. So this is also this is kind of a lot that we're looking at here. I want to drop asleep. Maybe not there though. More like here. Then run. Okay, that's super fortunate. We have pretty much won this encounter. I definitely expected to hit some of them, but not all of them, um, so that is great. Oh, Jeff is somehow poisoned, of course. Not sure how he managed that, standing all the way back there. Here's one of our very last antidotes. I guess I'm going to have to go try to buy some more soon, because we don't have very many antidotes left. Got 
Mm, I think we need to rest out here. Which is not ideal. Let's try. It worked. Okay, that's really good. We had the heal for it. Even, and we were all at pretty good HP, so it would have gone okay, I think, um, if we had gotten an encounter. But it's good that we didn't. Okay, a couple more Dread Wolves, nice and easy. It seems like there's a cave entrance over there, I guess. Behind them. That I just can't see because I haven't gotten past them. That would be my best guess. As to what's going on back there. But yeah, we can't really do that reliably until we have some means of cleansing. Um, but wait. Doesn't, does this fear, sleep, feeble mind, berserk, and confused, but not charm? Okay, well. I've got this. Okay, well, let's see. Um, can we take an exit out of the top of this map? Is that even possible? It's not. Only eastern and southern. Okay. Hmm. Well, I think this is... I don't know if this is traveling past the Null Stronghold. Okay, it's not. Don't worry about me. So this is taking us towards Null Stronghold. Seems to be a fairly small map. Well, nothing yet. Just an empty map so far. There. Forward! Might as well jump it before it gets onto me. Couple of Agrilon. Nothing too scary. I've got this. Hmm. Oh, there's a bridge. It's one of these merchants. 
Oh, thank goodness someone came by. There's a bear on the other side of that bridge, and it's coming this way. Please hold it off. I'll give you anything. Okay, so he wants to be saved from a bear. Very well. Fine. Right, what's this then? I'm on it. You want it? You've got it. I'm on it. Sorted. What bear? Polar bear. Oh crap. Okay, well that's kind of scary. Polar bears are pretty intense. I've got this. What is that even doing here? Okay, well. Fine. Sorted. Such menial tasks. I'm on it. may regret not doing um the damage reduction thing for him okay no i think we're fine oh okay yeah only six damage that's actually fine it sure does get hits easy 900 very good xp I don't know how this guy almost got mauled by a polar bear in the forest, but... Why, thank you. That old lumbering oaf could have had me there if it weren't for you lumbering oafs like yourselves. Here, if you're going to be wandering around these mountains for a while, you may need a better pair of boots. As for me, you couldn't pay me to stick around in this place. I got some boots. Cool. Old resistance boots. Or we'll just make our tank a little tankier. Might as well. Alright, and we need to drop off some of these gemstones soon. Looks like. This map is turning out to be bigger than I thought it was. Okay, Jeff is in front. He should not be in front. Let's go. Oh, yeah, this area is huge. I'd ex expected it to be a bit smaller, but... Okay, so some gibberlings here. Not actually that scary, because they aren't diseased. Oh, I see. Wait a second. Are they stuck? <laughs> Come on now. Okay. Just clearing it out. Going back and forth. Checking all of the fog. Go. 
More jibberlings go down. Yep, they're pretty easy. Especially for a squad like ours. There's another bridge. That's convenient. That'll help with exploring the rest of this area. Is Laurel going to try to kill me, I wonder? Ah, travelers. This wilderness is too expensive to keep clear of monsters all on my own. Many gibberlings pass through this spot, this very spot, day and night. Will you stay here and help me fend them off? Uh, let's see. Yes, we would gladly join you for a while. Wonderful. The gibberlings should be coming soon. You should prepare yourselves. I've got this. Okay. Ah, let's see. Okay, so we're just going to send our ranged dudes to shoot at the Gibberlings attacking Bigly, because she's not quite as tanky. I'll do a little smack smack. Smack the redo dot. Just tearing apart that left flank so that we can then rejoin on the right flank. There we go. Don't worry about me. Alright. Gibberlings are a plague that must be wiped from the Sword Coast. Perhaps we will meet again. Don't worry about me. Hmm. So perhaps a quest line there. Okay, that's a hat. That's just an ogre. Okay. Well, he's probably going to try to kill me. Right, what's this then? You no bother now. Me eat. We fight after me fat happy. Uh, I mean, no. So, what? What? You're an ogre. Like. Okay, more gibberlings. A lot more gibberlings. Okay, and my, my archers uh, are just kidding this character on the right, but it looks like. They missed a few too many times, so I'll send these two into melee. Right, and Bigly attacks that one. Stronger Chris goes there. Right, send Bigly down here. It's just a never ending horde of Gibberly. Okay.
Almost got the whole map explored. More Jibberlings. Knocking a few more jibs. That's what we're calling them now. And a cave bear. Well, I guess that's it for this map. Might be one more thing. Okay, oh, nice. Our cleric leveled up. 